Well, Guilford County has plans to open up a long term substance abuse recovery facility and a women and children's substance abuse center, but they're behind schedule. The Women and Children's Center will move into the Gibson Park facility, but before that can happen, the current program needs to move out and into its new space on Lee's Chapel Road. Fox 8's Sarah Winkleman joins us live at the facility on Lee's Chapel Road. So, Sarah, what's the holdup here? Well, Natalie, since this is the first of its kind facility in Guilford County, there's been a few things that they weren't prepared for. For example, one of those is they needed some extra licenses to be able to operate this type of long term recovery center. And also, once they got into the building itself, they discovered a few more things like they need a brand new air conditioner and they need a new generator. Now, all of that is going to take some more time and it'll be about a year before they can open. We're dealing with people's lives, uh, and we want to be able to be able to be some, do something that's transformative. There is one opportunity to do this the right way. It's very difficult and very limited, the number of beds in North Carolina for longer term treatment. You'll see 28 day programs. You may see a 90 day program, but it's very hard to see programs that are beyond that. Daymark currently runs the short term treatment at the Gibson Park location and will move into the new facility at Lee's Chapel Road as soon as it's ready. It's expanding the length of the longer term program um, and we're able to do a little bit of that now, but we'll be able to provide uh, more care to more individuals in the newer program with the way the building is set up. The current space at Gibson Park will be handed over to Volunteers of America, Chesapeake and the Carolinas. This again is a program that's empowering uh, the moms, that's empowering that mother and the family to remain together in a healthy environment. There will have to be some modifications made to the building before they move in. Really ensure that our spaces are more family oriented, uh, child proof of course, who um, can actually have space, some beds and and some spacing if a mother comes with multiple children. We, we, we again, we accommodate those things. They expect to open in about a year and a half, but it all depends on how soon the Lee's Chapel Road project is complete. We are not waiting. There's a lot of work that's happening behind the scenes. Both new centers hope to change lives and get people permanently off the streets. We don't want to just put people into uh, a shelter and just let them stay there overnight and then not treat their symptoms that cause them uh, to be victims of a homelessness. Chairman Alston says help is on the way and the results will be well worth the wait. These are folks, children and brothers and sisters and husbands and wives, and they need care. And this is a way for them to get care in their community and be involved in their community, continue to, to see their children, continue to be able to engage with family, and that helps support recovery. And once they get all of these glitches worked out, they hope to open up the doors here next fall. Like I said, about one year from today. And then Chairman Alston tells me they can begin work on creating more of these across Guilford County. He says this is just the first one and really just the start to addressing the true need that's out there. Live in Guilford County, Sarah Winkleman, Fox 8 News. Sarah, thanks. The app